How's it going guys? Teach Me Grappling, I'm back. And uh, today, before we take the Kiwis to Malibu, we're going to show you a technique. I got this idea from one of our comments. Man, the guy's name, it's a long string. I'm forgetting now. Damn, I should have looked it up before I started this video. But his name is like, I probably shouldn't leave a comment, but, or something like that. Um, that guy, he wanted to know about this technique. He pulled up, uh, gave me a link of a, of a clip of Tim Boach versus Luke Rockhold. And uh, Luke Rockhold hits this counter to a uh, high crotch single leg. And it was awesome. He got to a good position with a sprawl. And then he later on put in a, uh, like an inverted triangle, turned it into a Kimura and finished. So um, if you guys want to reference that fight, I'll put the link in the description box so you guys can see uh, how it looked full speed. I'm gonna talk about the move and I'm gonna talk about uh, what happened in the match, how it looks, it can look different depending on how the opponent reacts. Okay, so first thing I wanna mention also is in, in IBJJF rules, this move in the gi, uh, I'm not actually sure about the specifics, is actually illegal. So when you see this move in the gi, it was a couple years ago or so, they talked about if the opponent gets a high crotch, which is like a single leg with his head on the outside. I'm not sure about their grips, so what they say exactly, but in the rules, I believe it says if you grab the belt. So imagine we're wearing geese. If I grab the belt, um, I believe they, they show in the rule book something like this, okay, this position, but it could be anything like this, I think, and it's illegal. So say, let's say I grabbed here and here. It might just be this grip, but the move is basically step to the side, and then as I sit, I run his head into the floor. Bam! And you see, when he hit his head, he basically got like DDT, and um, he can get a real bad serious neck injury. So a couple years ago, they made that illegal, as far as I remember, it was about a couple years. It might even have been one year. So that move, just so you know, in the gi, is looked down upon now by IBJJ. Now, Sometimes, when the guy shoots the high crotch, okay, Megan, um, and the guy's here, in the fight, here, break, 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 in the fight, Luke Rockhold threw a kick. He threw a kick, and the kick was caught on the way back. Now, the energy of Tim Boach was coming forward, and then the move is, for Luke Rockhold, come on over here, Megan. You gotta get me tight over here. Look at my foot. My left foot is now going to step to the side. I want to step and I want to get out of the way so you don't have to move. His energy is going in this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to stay in front of him so his shoulder pressures me this way. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to step to the side and I want to do what I call slip, slip the shoulder. So come on over here, Megan. You got to get in close. Okay? Get in real close. See the shoulder right here? Come on over here. Okay? The shoulder is going to slip from my hip like this. And I want to slip. So his shoulder slips over here. Come over around here to the front. So you guys see it from this view. See his head right now is in tight. So right here, okay. I wanna slip the shoulder so it's here. This is what I wanna do, okay. Just like that, I wanna slip the side and slip the shoulder. Now, when that happens, I can take a couple different grips. The grips that I like, um, I like to grab this lat grip right here, okay. I like to grip on the muscle and then clamp my elbow, okay? Um, this hand right here, I like to go behind the, the hamstring or the butt, okay, here. This is a good grip, okay? And then so as I do this, I step to the side and I sit and I rotate. Now, watch my right foot. My foot that's here, I'm gonna twist like this, turning my knee. And that gives room, it gives like a, a little bit of, a, a, not flexibility, but slack in the rope. So when this is tight, and he's holding tight, I can't stall. But when I twist, it, he pulls my leg in, and his shoulder has now slipped, okay? And now I'm making an angle towards his back. Now at the same time I do this, I'm gonna pull and pull, and I'm gonna sit to my right butt cheek, okay? You don't roll, okay? You just keep your balance with your left hand, don't hit your head. I'm gonna pull him and sit. Down. Don't do that. Go down. Get to your knees. There you go. Come on over here, baby. Okay. So this is how it's designed. It's designed for me to slip the shoulder and pull him this way. Okay. 
Now, look what's happened. His shoulder is past my thigh. This is real important. I know it's dark in here right here with a black mat. Lift up. See, it slipped and now his arm's here. Now with these grips, I'm gonna take my left foot over here, Megan, okay? And I'm gonna cover his ankle, okay? Cover the ankle and make sure that he can't step over my body. I don't want him to step. Step over like that, that's gonna be bad. So once I'm here, you can either step on the back of his Achilles tendon or you can also make a bind, okay? Watch for the rolling knee bars type stuff. But you keep a nice bind like this. And then now, I'm gonna make this angle right here and go towards his back, okay? So this grip hand right here, I'm gonna bring this over, hips up, and then I'm gonna start to attack for the back. As well, I have his arm trapped, and that would be the idea to go for his back from there. Okay, so I'm doing this ultra slow right now because I wanna make sure that my, my partner Brian is also, we're taking safety into consideration. So again, if I throw the kick or he catches it, well, I'm trying to sprawl, I'm gonna step to the side, pull here, pull here, and sit. Again, react by coming down to the mat, creating balance. See how I did that? Now, if his knee, in this case, Brian reacted different, look, no big deal. It's great to show different reactions because not every opponent, this is what Brian did. His knee is like stapling, his shin is stapling my thigh, no big deal. I won't come up with a hook, but I'm gonna come up on top. So once here, I can just lift his butt and come out behind him. Watch out for the rolling attacks. If somebody rolls underneath you, just start to roll and pull for my legs. Yeah, just tuck, tuck into a forward roll. Just be careful of all this stuff. You don't want that to happen. So please, when, when somebody rolls, can you do that again? And then I'll react, okay? When he starts to roll, drop your hips and spread your base. That way you end up on top and you don't get caught in any kind of leg lock. So, um, again, one more time. So the guy takes a shot, this time maybe he shoot. Okay, he's here. I'm gonna grab the leg, step to the side, pull him. Again, look what he did. That's fine, that's Brian's reaction. I end up coming out behind, watch for the rolling attacks. If Brian has balance, don't fall forward. You should like create balance. Can you do this one to me? Uh, try, try to do what I'm doing, and I'll show you what I do. Okay, what's wrong, Megan? Go back. No. I don't. Okay, care. so we're here. Here we go. Uh, make your grip right here. Okay. So go ahead and just sit and turn and slip the shoulder. Yeah, that's fine. Turn and sit. Exactly. Now look, guys. Get over here, Megan. Come on. Look what happened. Again, my shoulder is being slipped. Okay. And now I'm creating balance. I'm trying to come back. He's gonna keep this hand here. You see his grip here, he's not letting me come back. Now just keep scooting around the side, keep scooting around, and then that's why he'll need the vining technique, like the way he did to my leg. He'll vine the ankle, that's why I showed that. Now my arm, I can't turn, keep turning, and then get to your seatbelt. Scoot around and get to your seatbelt, yes. Now pull me in and start to make, don't let me kick over to the side. Make sure you hip escape and get your, get your second hook. There we go. Very nice, and then choke. Okay, good. All right, so everybody's gonna have different reactions. The reaction I just gave you is what I think most wrestlers will do. Now, let's go back to the, the, the fight. The fight, the energy was so fast with Tim Boach because he caught a kick and he's running forward. You know, it's an MMA fight, so he's probably panicking a little bit in that moment. There's so much energy. He had the reaction so that he didn't come out of position and spike his head on the floor he actually hit a forward roll, okay? So, we'll go slow. So he threw a kick, he caught the leg. As the move happened, he just hit a forward roll, let go of the leg, and keep coming, keep coming. And then they ended up into a single leg and a sprawl, okay? Now, the clip that was sent to me, I actually have not seen this fight, by the way, uh, live. I didn't see it live, I didn't see it in its entirety, but from the clips, what I could tell, it looked like what happened was the guy pulled the single leg in. Just go ahead and gun that single leg in. And as he guns it in, that happened. And then the triangle got pulled across. This is common. It happens a lot also when guys pull single legs in and then they take with their left hand like this and they pull. So when they pull, the foot goes here. 
And then now when a triangle happens, go ahead and come on over here, mate. And again, this is all my assumption, by the way. So I don't have the clip in its entirety. I only saw from the clip. That's what I think happened because I've seen so many fights over uh, the years of my experience. Then the Kimura happens, and then through the Kimura, I assume, also rolled, and then it turned into the finish, okay? So then he was driving it behind the back. So there's a little bit of uh, addition on the, on the finish. So this move of slipping the shoulder off the high crotch, you wanna know how to do this. This is a really good technique. Again, IBJJF rules. It says in the rule book, I think it says grabbing the belt. So I'm not sure if it's even illegal in Nogi. They might say it is as well, just even doing this. I think it's a little ridiculous. I think you guys should be able to defend yourselves. And it's a contact sport. So again, I'm gonna go a little bit quicker, okay? You don't have to roll, you can, I don't want you to roll, I just want you to react and protect yourself, okay? Go ahead and hit the shot. Yeah, he's here. Okay, and again, Ryan, that's his reaction. He releases and just gives up the position. I'm gonna do it to you. I want you to hit it on me, okay? So I can show you guys how he has to work through the problem. Stance, good. Here, slip the shoulder. Grab the grips, no, no, not here. Here, and here, yes. Now come on around here. Watch, he's gonna try to slam my head into the floor as my shoulder slips to there. His goal is to make my shoulder slip. Sit that corner, yes, like that. Now look at how I reacted. Now he's gotta solve the problem. If he just goes for the back, just go for the back right now, like, like yeah, change. This might happen, you see? I'm sitting back now and I'm slipping out. Sure, does he have a Kimura? Sure. Does he have a possible crucifix? Sure, all of that. But I also have this, guys, go ahead. This commonly happens all the time. Head pops out, and now I'm depending the Kimura. Okay, as he's trying to spin and I get caught in an arm bar, it commonly happens, and I'm not saying that's not a bad choice for him, but when it comes to getting on top and securing position before submission in a fight, you might want to do what I was saying about controlling the position. I should, he sits the corner. Grab the back of the foot, yes. Now look at the control. Instead of just trying to go to the back, he uses his legs, go, yeah. Secure, now keep scooting down. Yes, beautiful. Now get to your seatbelt. Now look at the difference. See, now my arm is stuck. You just finished the choke, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. And he one arm to hit me with the one arm choke. So I hope you guys like that, that way of taking the back and, and countering the single leg with a head on the outside, which is what in wrestling we call the high crotch. Hope you like that. Um, again, in the fight, Tim Boach was able to hit a forward roll. Again, he abandoned the leg, hit a forward roll, and still came up on a single leg. You know, these guys are at high levels, you know. Um, so you're going to see some slightly different things. But the move that Luke Rockhold was going for was that sitting in the corner off the high crotch. Great counter to a single leg. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much. Please hit like, hit subscribe. Brian Meyer, you're the man, dude. Thanks for helping me out. Hope you learned something. I learned something even every time I teach. I get, I get better all the time just from teaching. So thank you guys. Hit subscribe, do all that good stuff. Click the link down in Patreon. Help me out, go ahead, contribute to the channel. And we'll keep giving you guys this awesome stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Gotta go take these Kiwis to Malibu. Enjoy the beach. Later.